Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Eric or Hazardous, and welcome back to a new episode of Recreating Viral TikTok Stunts in GTA 5. If I'm not mistaken, this is episode 10. This has easily been one of my favorite series to do on this channel, and it's been getting the most views. So I'm really happy that you guys enjoyed this series as well. So let's see if we can hit 10,000 likes for episode 10. That'd be sick. I don't think I've ever asked for a like goal, maybe like once. But anyways, let's hop into the TikTok app and let's find a first stunt for me to do in today's video. We're just gonna type in GTA 5 stunts. Here we go. I managed to type that correctly for like the first time. We're gonna go into hashtags. Let's go to the GTA 5 stunt hashtag instead. There's more videos here. Now let's begin scrolling and find something new. What about this one? When cops get leveled up. Ooh, I've actually had that happen to me a bunch of times when the cops do stunt like in the middle of a cop chase is actually pretty sick And I recognize so many of these videos. We've seen them already So I'm gonna go into my mentions later where there's always some more new stunts, but you guys tag man Let's see one wing plane stunt nightmare. I know you're watching. I see in the comment section every single video Dude, I don't know how you do this like one wing through a tunnel I'm gonna drop a like on that escape the cops say no more What's he gonna do here? Gonna go into a boat or something? I have never seen anybody go this way without- Wait a minute. How did he land in a tree? What? Like, how do you even find this spot? Did he just send it like towards the trees and just hope to land in one? That is insane. I don't want to try that though. Yeah, that looks way too difficult. That was a sick stunt though. What about this? BMX stunt. You know what? This is actually a BMX stunt that I can see myself doing. I've said this multiple times before. I am horrible with BMX, but maybe since this is episode 10, we can try this stunt. It doesn't look too difficult, just a big jump with a backflip through the gap. So yeah, shout out to Zlesh for this stunt, gonna drop a like on that. And yeah, let's try it out. This is a beautiful house, but anyways, we need to go to... Let's see, we're actually kinda close. The building we're gonna do this by is like over here somewhere. Should be right over on this hill. We have gone through this sign multiple times with different vehicles. I think shopping carts, we've done it with like uh, some weird malls, I don't even remember. But yeah, you basically gotta jump from this and go through this hole right here between the poles, um, but of course, with the BMX, not with the body. Right, can I get up this hill? Come on. Okay, I don't know how much speed I need. Should I maybe just come in from the street? I think so. I'm gonna run back a bit over here, maybe set a checkpoint about here. This should give me enough speed, maybe, I don't know. Okay, so let me just learn the controls real quick. So, okay, so shift is just leaning forwards, I think. Space bar is jump. Yes. And then how do you go faster? Control, caps lock. Yes, okay, caps lock. Now, I think jumping and landing on your front tire gives you more speed, right? So if I go... Oh god, I just almost <laughs> crashed into the sign. I was just paying attention to the tire like this. Wasn't even looking ahead. But anyway, so let's go back to the spot and yeah. I guess we just gotta do a... Was it a backflip? Let me check. Yeah, backflip. Okay, so caps lock, go faster, there we go. So I'm using keyboard and mouse. And why are you going so slow? I need to make it over there. I flew like one meter. Wait, how do you go faster? Do you want to turn on sticky keys? No, I do not. Okay, I'm gonna have to go all the way over here maybe and do the jump forwards thingy. Yes. Okay, I went faster for a second. I got like a speed boost. There we go. Yes. And then, okay, um, okay, wait. So looking at his clip, he actually went from the hill instead. So he went from up here. And then jumped off, okay. But I'm gonna go all the way up for this one. Oh, okay, we're getting there. We're getting further. Oh, okay, that was decent. Not sure what the backflip was though. <laughs> what just, dude? I wanted to follow the cop chase and they just crashed into each other and then disappeared. Where did they go? <laughs> yeah, for some reason there hasn't been like any cop chases lately and that's because I guess there's some sort of glitch, they maybe just disappear. That was so strange. And yeah, this is horrible. Get the backflip though. Yeah, we got it. I just feel like as soon as I jump, I lose all of my speed. And when I lean backwards, it's like my ass is pulling me down to the ground. And he's just not getting me anywhere. Super jump. Oh my god. Dude, I was going so fast. I did a speed boost thingy, like going like this. And it actually worked. Oh, look at this. We're going so fast. Okay, 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 I got this. Do that before the jump. Oh, that was horrible. Now, it's also way easier to do BMX stunts on controller, and now I'm using keyboard, so I don't think it's possible for me to, like, get the same sort of action with the thumbsticks. At least I think so, because it's just not working for me however I do it. Oh, that was a good jump. We just flew over it. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get this. Oh, that's good. 
no, it's too short. Yeah, I don't know how this slash guy managed to do it not going off this hill here. Oh, no! We hit the pole on the side! Oh, I was so focused right there. Come on. Okay, dude, I spent like 30 minutes on this stunt. A backflip through a gap. This is like the easiest stunt. Like, somebody who does BMX stunts could do this in like less than 3 minutes. Yes. Ooh, that was so clean as well. Did not even touch the edges. Finally, after 31 minutes, we landed that stunt. So let's take a look at it in a cinematic replay. Alright, first stunt done. Let's move on to the second one. Okay, I'm actually on Instagram right now because a lot of you guys tagged me in... What is it? This video right here. The guy doing the scram jet drift in like a turn. Check this out. That looks so insane. I've seen this one on TikTok as well. I just couldn't find the original. And I remember that Rockstar had posted this. So, see, so yeah, we're gonna try this out. It looks... I'm not sure how difficult it is. It's a drift and then activate the boosters into a turn. So we gotta find this exact spot. I made a ton of traffic to make it a bit easier so I don't just crash into cars every single time. Uh, but yeah, let's try this one out. It looks insane. Okay, so I've been looking at the map and I'm pretty sure it's this turn right over here. So let's go and set a teleport and let's check it out. Let's see if it's the right spot. Yeah, it looks like it. It comes from this road and then does the drift over there. So let's see. I have no idea how difficult this will be, but first let's go and get out the scramjet. Here we go, aka the Batmobile. Now let's see. Okay, so he starts drifting like over here. Hits the boost and uh, yeah, he does not do this. He goes clean around the corner. And I just spawn in more enemies. Dude, I keep hitting some weird keybind. Get away from here, please. Drifts and boost. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that was decent. Man, you really gotta time this perfectly. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Nope. Dude, we're going so fast. My boost is too powerful. Which I guess means that I'm gonna have to do a steeper drift to actually not fly out of the street. I keep my wheels turned to the right. Yeah, almost. I mean, I wanna stay on the street for as long as possible, but that was not too bad. Started off kind of nice. Let's see if I can do it from this way. And uh, nope. <laughs> Went back this way instead. Okay, so we definitely need to turn. Okay, I hit a key bind, which spawned in a completely new car. Why do I keep hitting these weird key binds? Hold on, I gotta turn that off. At least now I think I won't activate any weird things. And oh, okay, that started off kind of good. Yes, yes. <laughs> we got it. That was so sick. That was so clean. Didn't even exit the road. Alright, I can't believe we got that so quickly. That was actually really satisfying. Yeah, now we gotta go back to TikTok and find a third stunt for today's video, which might be my last one for today. So for this one, let's go into my mentions and find something in here. This... Seppin. It's gonna land on the blimp, right? Yeah. We've already done that before with both a car and a bike, so... We gotta find something new. Mark 2 stunts. That's a Mark 1, but okay. I don't get how people can fly upside down like that. That's a pretty cool stunt though. This Fortnite, how kids see vehicles. Okay, so new cars in Fortnite. How the OG sees vehicles. Oh, it's me! It's me, guys! <laughs> how the OG see vehicles. Yeah, you guys remember the shopping carts in GTA? No, not GTA, Fortnite. I was gonna jump through here onto the maze bank. Yeah, we, yeah, I've seen this one multiple times and we already done this stunt in this series, actually. Ooh, that was cool. I really like these like small precision stunts. This was done by Seppen. It's also in this area where I've almost never done a stunt before. So let's go and try this one. Let's just wrap it up with a nice tiny precision stunt. Okay, this spot is up here somewhere. It's right here, right? Go off this jump on top of that sign. I think that's it. Let me double check. Yeah, that is the right spot. Doesn't look too difficult. Well, you never know. These precision stunts can get quite tricky. I'm gonna just go all the way back here. I'm gonna set a teleport and let's try it out. Alright, the tricky part about this one is gonna be going straight. That's for sure, we're gonna miss it so many times. Okay, that is looking pretty strong. Nope, okay. This is also easier on controller to do like minor, minor adjustments uh, with the turning. Like I need to press the key, so this is like the minimum that I can actually turn. However, on a controller you can just nudge the thumbstick like a tiny bit to actually get the right angle. But that is looking good. We can wall ride that. We could, but we didn't make it over. I mean, he barely even wall it. He just kind of landed on top, bounced over like that, but with a tiny bit more speed. 
close though. I feel like this stunt would be easier with like a Sanchez, like a motocross bike. But if I want to do it like the TikTok, we need to use the Ruffian, which I think is the bike he used, maybe. Just with some different modifications to it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I slid off, come on. That looked really good. I feel like I've done like maybe 50 attempts or something. Because every time I fail, I just teleport back like this. And then we go again. <laughs> yeah, like I said, you have to get the direction, direction, the direction absolutely right. Otherwise, it's just a waste of an attempt and you just gotta go back again. Like this one. Yes. There we go. Oh, we even made it on the very top. That is sick. I can't remember if in the TikTok he landed on this thing below me or this one. But dude, I made it on the very top and I think I can also let go. Yes. Alright, let's take a look at that stunt in a cinematic replay. That was so clean. Alright guys, that is gonna be it for today. I'll be wrapping this up right here on top of this liquor sign right here. If you guys did enjoy it, then let's see if we can reach 10,000 likes on today's video. That would be crazy. Shout out to the members of the Hazardous Club right here on the screen. And that is gonna be it for today. So I'll catch you guys later. So until then, take care and let's drop that beat.